Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, paintwork. Now, long old process, preparation, sanding and rubbing everything down. Two visits to the paint shop to get the three colors and 10 panels finished to a standard I'm happy with. And now it's gonna be a full day in the finishing. Finishing means wet sanding everything and then buffing and polishing with cutting compounds and wax till everything is glassy perfect if possible. You must get the best from it. I put a lot into it so far. And with all of this input, now you know why paint jobs cost so much to get done at a pro paint shop. Anyway, I did this myself. So it's all in my hands to bring it home in style. All right, I came in here at eight o'clock this morning. It's now 11.30, that's three and a half hours to wet sand those two panels in 2000 grit. Now I've got to wet sand them again in 3000 grit. Then I've got to get the buffer and the compound and buff them to bring the shine back. And then after that, I can polish them and hopefully they'll look perfect. And then after that, I've got the other eight panels still to do. Now it's gonna be a long day. <laughs>
Right, there we are. Five and a half hours to get these two panels done. Now, okay, they're the biggest panels, the hardest panels, and definitely we're gonna be the longest ones to do. But five and a half hours, and I've still got eight panels left to do. So look, if I film the rest of this, then it's gonna be the longest video I've ever made, and that's not interesting for you, and it'll be quicker if I just get on with it. So I'm gonna shut the camera off now, get on with that lot, and I'll show what it all looks like at the end. Right, there we are, absolutely banging. It's 6 p.m. now, so 10 hours for 10 panels. Some of them bigger than others, but they're all done in one day, so I'm happy with that. And an absolutely glorious result. No problems, nothing to put up with. It's all absolutely perfect. I'm really, really happy with the result. Now, there is a little bit more shine, a bit more richness to be had from this, but it's got to be mounted on the bike for that because that holds it still, and then I can lean on it with the Carnuba wax and get a real depth to it. So in the next one, we'll very carefully assemble all this back onto the bike and give it its final detail. I'll see you then.